I'm back with my modded Bannerlord playthrough, and last time, we finally, we set ourselves free. We got the honourable discharge, we're no longer serving under any lord. We're officially free to do what we want. And first things first, we're gonna need some loyal men to serve underneath us. We can't make a name for ourselves in this world all alone. Oh man, look at all these troops on offer if we had a good enough relation with the village. Damn, man. Instead, we'll take what we can get. Alright, we found this guy in the tavern. The wine tastes like piss. Oh. Alright. I'm not cheap, I won't... Eh... Then we have different definitions of cheap mip. 500 is pretty cheap. <laughs> we also have an engineer. Oh god, we asked him to tell him about ourselves, but damn, we got a life story now. Alright, we'll take you as well, mate. So we have some new companions in the army. It's the ones we just recruited. We need to get a third one as well. And this will be the, the start of our crew. We have this guy who's proficient in one-handed and pole arms. So if we can get him some decent gear, he might be of use to us. And then we've got an engineer who has an alright crossbow stat. But also has a decent engineering stat. Not that we need engineering right now. It'll come in handy in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> in the long distant future. <laughs> we have our first official test as an independent faction. A bandit hideout. <laughs> the way that echoed then, the follow me. The bandits don't know we're here, they do now. I did bring the ranged with me for a reason. <laughs> what is with these commands echoing? I'm like some sort of dragonborn with the shouts, man. Alright. Game's not the best, lads, but I got you covered. We. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Alright, this guy won't see you come in. Oh, we were too short. Wait, 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 wait. Is this guy using, like, the power of Kung Fu? We, we need to watch this guy fight. He does not have a weapon. He is purely using Kung Fu. Did you see his stance in that fight then? Let me turn off Fire Will just so we can witness this. <laughs> okay, his, his Kung Fu isn't working. I don't think he's a master in Kung Fu. But we need to, we need to get this man a sword. Ah, oh, man. When did hideouts become this complicated? I remember the Sea Raider ones from Warband. You just fought them in a beach. <laughs> just a strip empty beach with a boat on the far end. <laughs> Alright. By the time he gets up, he's gone. Their master is a samurai. We have a Ronin. Who's gone rogue. Oh man, we, we gotta deal with this guy one on one, haven't we? This is the fight of the samurai. Me? Former samurai? We gave up that life. Alright. Let's do this. Oh no! 
Is he dead? No! <laughs> we hit him back that... Damn, man, we hit him that hard, he actually went backwards. It's not much, mate, but, uh... Take a sickle. Your kung fu wasn't doing you anything. Oh man, we gotta give this guy some armor as well. All of his armor has zero stats. Alright, here you go, mate. Some shoes as well. So I've been getting some random crashes. Um, every time a rebellion starts, I did some searching and some people are saying if you got a mod that alters the cultures um, of the game, there's a bug where when a rebellion starts, it creates a new hero to be the new leader of the rebellion. And while with the cultures or something, it can bug out and cause a crash. So, we're going to trial this. I've turned on cheat mode just so I can run this command and disable rebellions from now on. It does say though, every time you reload, you have to turn this, like, you have to run the command, which is a bit of a shame because it means I've got to permanently play in cheat mode. And I don't really like doing that because when you open your inventory, on the left you get, like, every item in the game. But we just won't use it, I guess. But it, do it does slow the inventory loading time, having to load them all. But we can just choose not to use it. But hopefully, going forward, we won't get a crash every time a rebellion starts or anything. Oh, we got a prisoner who's ready to join us, eh? We will lose two morale for recruiting prisoners. But then I suppose, I suppose we'll first take a look at the troop tree, I guess. Before we recruit them, are they actually worth getting? Oh. I'm sold. <laughs> We're going to turn them into Tetsujin Oni? Oni? Oh man, there's a tournament going on. All right. We got this. What's the reward? Is that a, is that a good sword? Probably not. You know what tournaments are like. We will bet on ourselves though. Alright. What is this? We have a nail in a piece of wood. That's all it is. It's a piece of wood with a nail sticking out. And there. <laughs> what was that? Well, I think I spent too much time admiring my stick with a nail in it. <laughs> that we got taken clean out in one. I think we may have to ditch the horses that we've got. Ah. Uh, it's taking a while to move anyway because we're suffering from a herd penalty since we have like over a hundred of them. I recruit one more guy from this village. The herd penalty went down by like 0.1. Well, 0 0.01. <laughs> As of now, the army is complete. It is me. It is our kung fu friend. Our engineer. We have nine Chinese soldiers. Eight of them being ranged. We have... Eight Tetsujin warriors. Three of them being ranged. So it seems like we've got Chinese ranged and Japanese infantry. That seems to be the, uh, the mix that we have right now. We do need that one point in renown though and I got just the thing. Who's up for round two tournaments? This time we'll win a spear. I don't want a spear. Oh, oh this stick brings back memories. Boom. <laughs> we spent days training with this stick. Oh no, it's us versus green. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I love our baseball bat. Hold up, what have we got now? I have a big stick. It's like a hockey stick. <laughs> I also have shurikens. Wait. Wait. Ninja star. Wait. Oh. Okay, this. We're getting some hits. Come on. There we go. That's one. Alright, let's hit the samurai. This one's got it in for us, I think. Whoa! He's throwing shurikens! Right, the horse is gonna fall any moment, and this is essentially a speed up. Oh. There I am, and. I'm giving my like hero monologue and, and this this guy just took him out. Why do these these tournament weapons just look like you've left the like um what do you call it? The the cover thing on the weapon. Is it called the sheath? What do you, oh Oh no Yeah man We smack it Oomph. Oh no we knocked a fly in. I got this spear thing, eh? Alright. Used to do the strat and warband all the time. Hide behind the horse. That didn't work. This was a tried and tested maneuver on warband. You use the horse's cover. Okay. Whoa, we just took him off his horse. Quick! Have we been given, like, super strength? <laughs> we seem to be knocking everyone over. Don't care about the spear, it's the renown. Okay, so we got the clan tier up, which means we can get 25 more men. So now we need to get 10 of something else and 10 of another thing, I guess. Hmm. We can also get two more companions. And we should probably do that. So we've recruited seven, uh, ten Imperials now. Seven of them were infantrymen. Three of them were these recruits that I didn't realize actually are the cavalry recruits. Um, we've got we got an odd patch of recruits here. <laughs> but our movement speed has gone up significantly. We got the extra ten men, and we got we took off like two off the herd in penalty. So we're not moving full speed yet. But it's not too bad. So we got 15 spaces left in our army. What do you recommend we sh I should recruit? As you saw, we're lacking a bit in cavalry. Maybe cavalry is the way to go. Maybe we don't use cavalry. Maybe ca lance cavalry, range cavalry, who knows? What troops do you recommend I recruit? But that's it for this part of my modded playthrough. As always, if you enjoyed, leave a like subscribe and until next time see ya